Alright guys, welcome back to this next video tutorial and I really think I am onto something. So I just charged up these super capacitors. Uh, let me try to get a better focus. Yeah, these are 2.7 volt 500 farad capacitors. Uh, that is a high voltage, uh, it's a 450 volt capacitor. It's I kind of messed up with the circuit and I'm just kind of not utilizing it at the moment. But what I did want to combine with this circuit was the use of magnets. I know magnets carry their own form of energy, which is called Gauss, which is also measured in the same way an electromagnetic field is measured. So what's the difference, right? Gauss, magnetism, magnetricity. All right, so when I turn this thing on, um, on the charger, it was putting off well over uh, 700 volts. And it was also producing 18 watts worth of 19 watts technically because I had an excess of 90 volts and 4 milliamps So it gave me about a half a watt of extra energy And this is what happens when I mind you. I'm actually the connector for this bulb I don't know how exactly this is working. I think there is a static connection going from inside here to these magnets and the magnets put off a gauss which has a measurement if you look at how thick, how long these magnets are, and the length of my bulb, you can see that there could be like a some sort of spark gap effect going on when I do this. Uh, comments would be highly appreciated. There is no gimmick, uh, no fake shit going on here like everybody tries to troll around on YouTube with. I'm looking for the real thing because I hate paying for electricity, just like you. Look at that. Mind you, this is not from touching the plastic. I'm actually the other half to this bulb right now. Like the, e the electromagnetic field is going through me and it's creating a spark gap through these magnets. These are neodymium magnets. They are, they do have a lot of aluminum in them. Um, like I said, I just want to get an idea of what you guys think. Edward Leedscounen came up with magnetic current and I'm kind of combining that with Tesla's ideas and this is what I've came up with. I am not a genius by no means, but I am a little bit creative when it comes to doing this stuff because, uh, well, this is cool, right? I mean. How am I doing it, you know? And there's there's no wires or anything. I'm just putting it on top of the magnets. I mean, it's quite amazing. This is a high frequency, about 40 kilohertz. Um, I don't know if I can do the same thing through a spark gap. Yeah, see? You can hear a spark gap. And I can also power it through a spark gap, which still warms this thing up. Now, I do take a lot of these ideas after Gerard Morin as well, a little bit. It's kind of combined with it because he has a high-frequency generator. I just have an easier way of building one on a smaller scale. Uh, yeah. And I think it's pretty effective. Now, if I send this power into step-up transformers,